So this question says, which of the following expressions is or are a factor of 3x squared plus 20x minus 63? There's actually quite a number of ways to solve this. I'm going to just rewrite this trinomial here. So if you know how to factor this trinomial, you can get directly to the answer. If you know how to convert this into the, um, the product of two binomials, you'll find um, your answer right away. We could also use a quadratic equation with a quadratic formula, which says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is 3, b is 20, and c is negative 63. If you continue with that, you should also get your answer. What will be different about using that method in order to find your answer is that this is like the factored form of our solutions. Um, to find the actual solutions themselves, we'd have to set each of these equal to zero. So that means here we'd have like x equals nine. So that's what you'd expect to get here if that was an option. And here we'd have x is equal to seven thirds, right? Because we'd add seven to both sides and divide by three. Um, another way to do this though is once you know once you know these, we could just use plug in information from the question. Right, if we just plug these numbers in to the x using your calculator and to see if this ends up equaling zero because that's how you know it's a solution. So if you do that, you'll find that only choice two is an option. And I'll show you why choice one isn't. So if I put in x equals nine, I have three times nine squared plus 20 times nine minus 63. 9 squared is 81, so it becomes 3 times 81, plus 20 times 9 is 180. 3 times 81 is 243. And we can already see that this actually you know, does not equal 0. This is going to be a very large pot or a larger positive number, and we're only subtracting 63. So that's not going to work. Whereas 7 thirds, right, 3 times 7 thirds squared plus 20 times 7 thirds minus 63 becomes 3 times 49 ninths. 140 over 3 minus 63. Let's just go up here for more space. So I'd have 49 thirds plus 140 thirds minus 63 equal to zero. This becomes 189 over 3. 189 divided by 3 is 63. So I'd have 63 minus 63, which is equal to zero. And that's why choice or option two works here. So choice B is the only correct answer.